The horror stories about COVID-19 ravaging rural Russia are hard to watch. This video shows dozens of corpses in the basement of a hospital in the Siberian city of Novokuznetsk. It was arguably worse in Barnaul Hospital number 12. One of the bodies left out like that was Artemy Pachenko's aunt, Ludmila. He says by the time doctors told him and he got her body back 10 days later, it was bloated and unrecognizable. We were hoping it would be more civilized, that her body was refrigerated somewhere, not just left like this on the floor. Maria Sertsevo got COVID and, in a social media post, said she was turned away from a Barnaul hospital. Incredibly, doctors told her to go home and to blow into a balloon to strengthen her lungs. One of the worst stories has come out of Rostov-on-Don, where 13 patients on ventilators died when the hospital there ran out of oxygen. Today, two senior administrators were fired. This doctor and professor says he sees little relief for rural Russia's cash-starved healthcare system. Uh, in general, in Russia, things are going to worse, uh, but on, on what a scale, uh, it is difficult to uh, estimate. As for Russia's much-hyped vaccine, Sputnik V, it's still in stage three trials and slower at generating data than some of its Western competitors. But the promises about how it will soon save the country continue. We will administer the vaccine to 70% of the country. And within 10 to 12 months, Russia will make this disease vaccine manageable, said its creator, Alexander Ginsberg. In the meantime, there's a frantic effort to find beds. In hard-hit Barnaul, that even means converting a shopping center into a COVID ward. Chris Brown, CBC News, Moscow.